There are many Irish blessings, but few as powerful and inspirational as I do not wish you a path devoid of clouds. Here we've set it to images of Ireland. At the end of the reading, we look at the meaning of the blessing and try to see why it's so powerful and so popular. I do not wish you a path devoid of clouds, nor a life of ease on a bed of roses. I do not wish that you should never feel pain or endure the bitter pangs of sorrow and regret. I do not wish you these things, for they are not the things that matter. My wish for you is that you find courage in times of trial, when the skies darken and the outlook is bleak, when others load their burdens on your shoulders and even blame you for their woes. When all seems darkness, may you always find the ray of light, and may all the gifts God gave you grow and flourish. May you always have friends who are worthy of the name, who will help in times of need and share your times of joy. And may you always offer friendship in return as you enrich the lives of all you meet. But this is not all. One more wish I have for you. In every moment of every day, may you feel God's love and be inspired. That is my wish for you and all who are dear to you. That is my wish for you now always and forever. This famous blessing was originally written in Irish long ago. The author is unknown. It's uplifting and inspirational, the kind of poem people return to from time to time when they need to reflect and maybe re-evaluate. Charles Mitchell is credited with having produced the translation now widely used across the world. We've slightly adapted his version to capture what we believe would be the spirit of the original in Irish. So why does this blessing stand out among the hundreds of others? Why has it become so well known and popular? Perhaps it's because it's both inspirational and down to earth at the same time, inviting us to reach for the heavens while having our feet firmly on the ground. The opening five lines set the tone. We are not being wished an easy life, free of pain. Why not? Because we know such a thing is impossible and we would not believe it. Everyone must experience some trials and tribulations. Straight away we're being told this is a blessing based on life as it really is, and it becomes clear that our triumph will not be in avoiding troubles, but in overcoming them. The next ten lines explore how we can do just that. We'll need to find the strength and courage inside ourselves, for our own benefit and for those who may offload their burdens onto our shoulders. But we are not alone. When all seems darkness, may you always find the ray of light. In the context of this religious blessing, that light, of course, is the light of God, the Holy Spirit. But again, we must look to ourselves. It's not enough to sit back and simply receive the gifts offered by God. We're being urged to embrace those gifts and ensure that they can grow and flourish. The blessing wishes that we will have good friends who will help in times of need, but as before, it's a two-way process. We must offer friendship in return. There's no free ride in this blessing. We must play our part. This is emphasized in the powerful closing lines. May you feel God's love and be inspired. We can't force ourselves to feel God's love, so the blessing wishes it for us, but then it's up to us whether we will be inspired by that love. Thankfully, it's not a once-only offer, as the final line makes clear. That is my wish for you now, always and forever. The wish is eternal, like God himself, so if we fail first time, we can try again. This, of course, is a huge part of the Christian faith. However many times we fail, Christians believe that God's mercy remains constant and his door is always open. It's up to us to decide whether to walk through. <laughs>